I'm Nancy Kramer. I am a resident of the Lower East Side for well over 30 years. I uh, have been um, working in the Grand Street News uh, for uh, the last seven years, and before that was uh, a, an administrator at a law school. I ran a place in the office at a law school. And before that, many, many, many other uh, careers and avenues uh, that I went through. I'm California born and raised and moved to New York in uh, 74. And uh, as uh, people who know me say, I'm often still like a tourist in New York. I love everything about it. I um, love to collect things on the street. I love to go uh, perusing Strand books. And that's where I get a lot of the things that I use for my collages, as well as all kinds of old things that I've collected over the years. I've been cutting and pasting things for probably 40 years. Uh, I uh, never liked uh, um, the kinds of cards that I found in greeting card stores. So as far back as I can remember, I've been somebody that loved to send birthday cards and holiday greetings and uh, I still do. I still use snail mail uh, almost as much as email. And um, I didn't like what I found in stores, and I liked cutting and pasting, and so I started uh, using all the magazines that I had, and cutting and pasting images, and putting them on blank cards, and then sending them to all of my friends and family. Um, and many, many years ago, I was a potter and a weaver and a, a sewer. I did a lot of different kinds of crafts and everything in the 60s. And then I came to New York. I had three other careers and uh, really didn't do anything in the arts other than keeping up with cutting and pasting down images to make greeting cards. So um, a few years ago I uh, decided it was time to get back into the arts. I was really itching to do something and I looked at the catalog for the uh, Educational Alliance. We'd had such a wonderful experience there with our daughter who went to the nursery school and I had been reading all about the art school and I knew how important uh, it was in the history of the Lower East Side. And uh, I looked and saw that there was a collage class and I signed up for it and they had these great daytime specials. And lo and behold, I seemed to have found my niche. It was just what I needed to get back into the arts and there was a wonderful teacher who I believe it was his first semester when I began. His name is Rich Carr. And uh, at the time, he was doing a lot of different freelance uh, classes, and he was teaching the uh, class at the Edgy. And he is amazing, and he has taught me and many, many other people so much, and uh, I really seem to blossom, and I love it. I've been taking it many semesters in a row, and I learn something new every time. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful class. I'm using matte medium to give it a, uh, it's what we use as an adhesive a lot of times, and also uh, as a final coat that preserves uh, the paper. And I tend to give a lot of extra coats for a lot of preservation. You combine uh, many, many, many different genres and styles sometimes in the same, on the same canvas. Right. Um, your sense of color is just beautiful. Um, one of my favorites is uh, what you name uh, Woman in Red. I really like images of women and I believe I got it out of an uh, art catalog uh, probably something like Christie's or Sotheby's, th something that was on sale, and it was a bunch of women, not the same woman, but very, very similar in the headgear that they had on. They had on this red headdress. 
And uh, when we were given an assignment in class to do something with multiples, this came to mind immediately. Tell us about the mask. I, the way I work, and still do at this point, after several years at it, is I have a huge pile of uh, images, pictures, that I've cut out of all kinds of things. I used to go to the Strand all the time and buy um, books back in their uh, book section. I have friends now, uh, especially a dear friend, who brings me all kinds of Christie's and Sotheby's catalogs and opera calendars and catalogs. So um, I had uh, a lot of images, and I'll sit down with a pile of images. I'll have a file folder of a bunch of things, not necessarily uh, of the same subject matter, and I'll go through them in class or at home, wherever I'm working, and something that strikes my fancy, I'll put it on the side, and I'll kind of keep going with it, and then I'll have a smaller pile, and I will start working with it on, um, on a page or a canvas or a board or a box until it kind of feels like something is developing. And I'll lay them down, I won't glue them down yet, and I'll just keep playing with that, moving it around and putting other things on top of it, taking some of it off, um, changing its position on the page until it feels like it's working for me. You really have to work at it. You don't want these bubbles to show. Um, so sometimes you go in with a uh, exacto knife after it's dry. Don't do it when it's wet. And you make a little slit where the bubble is along a line that might not show. And then the, pe the bubble kind of uh, will go down and absorb the uh, matte medium when you put it in again. Sometimes. It doesn't always work the way you want it to. But it frequently does. And if not, you can uh, say it was just a good experiment. Or layer something else on top of it. Or give it a texture and make it, uh, make it kind of three-dimensional or make it uh, bumpy if you want to uh, work on something like that. Your happiest uh, work, I think, is uh, uh, with lemons. Oh, yes. That was an assignment, actually. What's it called? It's called, well, it's called, I call it lemonade. But, uh, it, it, of course, it's the old thing of, uh, you know, if you've got lemons, uh, make them into lemonade. So uh, the assignment was just, it was summertime, and it was to do something, uh, a po make a poster about lemonade. So it is really happy, and it's unlike a lot of my work, some of which is kind of dark, not necessarily depressing, but darker. And it's very bright, and uh, I used some acrylic, and I got all kinds of images that I could of lemons, and in fact, a couple of the phrases in there, uh, a couple of places on the piece, it does say if, you, uh, if you're stuck with lemons, you know, make it into lemonade. And it just is very whimsical. The piece is not completed. Uh, the, um, the, um, the holes in the side really detract and, and put a pattern on the piece, so that it's gonna be covered with uh, black uh, um, poster board. But it was, a, again, this was an unusual piece. It was a, I had a, a plastic box that had been laying around the house for a long time, and I wanted to do a larger piece, and so I played with that whole image of, uh, of a shadow box and putting uh, the lemonade piece in that.